Van Dyke Show. Starring Dick Van Dyke. Rosemary, Maury Amsterdam, Larry Matthews, and Mary Tyler Moore. What'd they say? Five inches of new powder on six feet of packed snow. Woo-hoo-hoo! Is that good? <laughs> but, Jerry, listen, come on. Come on, I'm getting tired of this living room skiing. <laughs> I want to get up on that mountain. Okay, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, honey. Jerry said that there's, there's at least five inches of brand new powder on six feet of packed snow. Jerry said that's fast. Very fast. <laughs> Hey, honey. Uh, you sure you don't mind if I go alone? Rob, you've asked me that question at least a dozen times in the last half hour. What do you want me to say? Well, what you really think? Darling, I've told you that I don't mind your going. Now, what more can I say? Well, just once, I would like to hear you say it like you really meant it. Do I give you the impression that I don't mean it? Very, very clearly. Well, I'm sorry, then I'll try to say it more convincingly. I don't mind that you and Jerry are going skiing this weekend, and I hope you both have a wonderful time. All right, boy, if you feel that way, I'll just stay home then. <laughs> Rob, your 48-hour uh, weekend is now down to 47 hours and 15 minutes, so if you're going, darling, please go and have a good time up there. How can I have a good time up there when you're down here in this mood? What mood? I'm smiling. Honey, your teeth are smiling, but your lips are very tense. <laughs> You're going to get me angry in a minute, Rob. Good, good. Maybe then I'll find out what you're really thinking. All right. All right, I'll tell you what I'm really thinking. Now, let's have it. You're mad because you're not going along, right? Not at all. I am upset because you may break a leg and end up in a hospital. <laughs> you can't mean that. Rob Jerry is an expert skier, and you've never been on skis in your life. Which is the point of the whole trip, honey. Jerry's going to teach me. Yeah, I know you, Rob. The first minute up there, you'll be trying to compete with Jerry, and you'll break something. <laughs> you want to be you're talking about like my mother? Okay. All right. Insult me all you want. <laughs> Rob, I happen to know you. You are very competitive when it comes to your athletic prowess. Well, yeah, I'm competitive, and I'm pretty darn well coordinated, too. Rob, I how many times you've tripped over this one step. You have got to be joking. Darling, you may be an all-American athlete, but you are also a tripper. Honey, this, this is a step. There are no steps on the big mountains. But there are bumps. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's bumps, bumps. And the bumps will have snow on them, and I will glide over them in my slippery skis. Shoo See? You're going too fast already. <laughs> Honey, what are you trying to say? That I shouldn't go skiing simply because I'm liable to hurt myself? Yes! All right. My plans for the weekend do not include any broken bones. Now, I promise. Rob, will you promise me you'll only use the beginner's slope? Oh, come on, honey. Oh, Rob, please promise you won't go down the big slopes. Please. But, Laura, I may not go down the big slopes, but I am certainly not going to promise you that I won't. Well, you have to. Honey, what's the matter with you? Do you have a dream or something? Don't tell me you had a dream that I broke my leg. No. Both legs. <laughs> and an arm and a nose and a wrist and I don't know what all. I couldn't look. <laughs> oh, Rob. I think it's silly to use dreams this way, but my womanly intuition tells me I'm right. Womanly intuition is highly overrated. Well, that may be, but I just happen to have a second sense about some things. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Laura. <laughs> hi, 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 hi. I saw him through the window. Hey, come on, Rob. Let's go get your gear in the car. The slope's hey. waiting. <laughs> Honey, please, don't worry about me. I'm going to be fine. Now, you see. Oh, don't worry, Laura. Why, in five hours, I'll have this man here skiing down those slopes like a Norwegian. 
Oh, Jerry, please don't let him go down the slopes. You know what a tripper he is. He's only a beginner, and he's going to... Would you like to have Jerry warm my milk and tie my shoelaces for me, too? Jerry, for crying out loud, will you tell him I'm not going to break a leg? It's guaranteed, Laurel. Why, why Rob's too well coordinated for that sort of silliness. Come on, Rob, you can fight me. Let's go. You see that? You see that? You're the only one that has no faith in me at all. Jerry says I'm too coordinated. <laughs> That's a stamp. That's not a mountain. You put snow on it, you see how well I do. <laughs> they said they were going away for a 48-hour weekend. They've been gone for 51 hours and 10 minutes. Where are they? Probably sitting in the car, cursing the bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic. You're not worried, are you? Well, Rob did go up to a mountain, and mountains are high and slippery and... Icy and treacherous. My Jerry's up there, too. You don't see me worrying. Well, your Jerry is a skier, and my Rob is a tripper. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, Rob's sensible. He won't do anything he thinks is foolish. Ordinarily, he won't. But this weekend, he just might do something that's foolish. What do you mean? I challenged him not to. Oh. If Rob fell off that mountain, I was the one who pushed him. Laura. Oh, yes. I pushed my husband off a mountain. If he broke anything, it'll be my fault. He's not gonna break anything. Hmm. Oh. Millie, when he left here, he was pretty angry. He might break a leg just to cause me pain. <laughs> Laura, Rob loves you. He'd rather cut off an arm than break a leg to cause you pain. <laughs> About. Listen, I gotta tuck the little ones in bed. I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, I promised Richie I'd tuck him in 15 minutes ago. You see how upset I. Laura, if you wanna tuck Richie in, you better come over to my house because you gave him permission to sleep with Freddie. <laughs> <laughs> you see how upset I let him get me? A mother doesn't even know where her own child is. Come on. No, I can't go with you. Why not? Rob may call. Well, he knows he'll be together. If he doesn't get you here, he'll call next door. That's true. Let's go. and all boats in. What? When? What is it? Jerry called here and tried to get us, but no one was home, so we called there? Jerry called here and tried to get us, but there was no one home, so we called there. <laughs> How did you know? He's gonna call back, isn't he? Is he gonna call back? He's gonna call back. Okay. Yeah, well, bye-bye, Patty. I'll be right home. I wonder what Jerry wanted to tell us. That Rob fell off a mountain. <laughs> That's impossible. How can you be so sure? Well, because they couldn't possibly have found him yet. <laughs> Rob's in a hospital, too, don't you? No, I don't think he's in any hospital, and I don't think there's any reason for you to think so, either. Oh, why did I ever say to Rob that he's a tripper? 
Millie, if he fell off a mountain and they ever find him, I'll never speak to him again. <laughs> Where is he? And why doesn't he call? Another subdural hematoma, I'm afraid. Fifth one this week. Excuse me, nurse. Oh, there you are. How are you feeling? Oh, I, I'm fine. Uh, how's my buddy? Oh, he's going to live. He's in there with the doctor now. Oh, uh, 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 you, you can't go in there. Oh, when will the doctor be finished with him? Well, he's practically done. Oh. Listen, um, what exactly did happen out there on that slope? Mr. Petrie wasn't very clear on the details. Well, it was just a freak accident, like on a highway, only instead of a four-car pile-up, it was a four-people pile-up. How did that pile-up start? Well, we were coming down the big slope, first time for my friend Rob, but he was doing beautifully. He was sailing along until he came to this turn. Well, he makes the turn okay, but then he bumped right into another skier who had just tripped over a goat. A goat? Yeah, a big billy goat. Lying there, I thought it was an old man, you know? Well, Rob piled into the first guy, I piled into Rob, and some poor schnook piled into me. The only one who walked away from the accident was the billy goat. You're all rather lucky, considering. Yeah. Whatever happened to the first guy, what did he end up with? Oh, a, a broken ankle and two cracked ribs. Doctor? Oh, are you Mr. Petrie's friend? Yes, I am. Oh, well, it's all yours now. He's a very lucky fellow. A nurse, I'll need you on orthopedics. Oh, yes, doctor. Oh, bye-bye, sir. Good oh, luck. Oh, thanks. Thanks for everything, nurse. Oh, Rob, let me help you. That's all right, Jerry. I can manage. I can manage. Okay. Oh. Oh, gosh, Rob, I must say, you look just fine. <laughs> How are you, Jerry? Oh, I'm all right. I got off cheap just a sprained wrist. What did the doctor say you had? Same thing as a uh, sprain. A sprain what? A sprained body. <laughs> a sprained body? I never heard of a sprained body before. Well, that's what I got. <laughs> well, where does it hurt? <laughs> you see that? Yeah. It's the only place it doesn't hurt. <laughs> Hey, Rob, the doctor didn't really say you had a sprained body, did he? No, he just had, said I had something in, in Latin. But it all adds up to that same thing. Sprains, strains, contusions, bruises, in general, all over black and blueness. <laughs> but there's nothing broken. Just my spirit. <laughs> Listen, Rob, why don't you sit down? Huh? Don't touch me! <laughs> Did you, did you call the girls? Yeah, I called both places, but I couldn't get them. I talked to Patty, though. You didn't tell your daughter about the accident, did no, you? No, no, I figured they'd find out soon enough when we got home. Jer, why do they ever have to find out? <laughs> Jer, I don't look like I've been in an accident, do I? Well, no, not when you stand still. <laughs> What's the point in not telling him? I just don't want Laura to know. Oh, no, I got that. Oh, try, try. Oh, huh. Rob, I don't see why you don't want to tell Laura. I mean, this is really foolish, Rob. We can get out of a lot of homey details this way, like, like taking out the garbage. Boy, this can be terrific, Rob. Listen, I can make this last six weeks, maybe longer. And you, Rob, why, you're good for, for at least six months, Jerry. Rob. Yeah, Rob, don't move around so much. Oh. <laughs> Listen, Rob, are you sure you don't want to sit down? Come on. No, Jerry, don't touch me. That may be all right for you, Jerry, but all it's going to get me are a lot of cold stares and I told you so's. You mean to tell me that you're going to try to hide your sprained body from Laura? I am not going to give her the pleasure of gloating. Rob, I think you're going a little too far to soothe your manly pride. What, man? Ah, no, 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 don't, don't. Ah. Uh, Jerry. Yeah, Rob. If she finds out about this, I will be at the mercy of her womanly intuition for the rest of my life. Jerry. Yeah, Rob. Please don't tell Millie. Okay, okay, but is it all right if we just call home once more and tell the girls that we'll be a few hours late? Good idea. Okay. I'll wait here. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, uh, Rob, do you, uh, do, you, do you have any change? Wait a minute, I'll see. <laughs> Rob, do you really expect to, to hide your condition from Laura? The doctor said most of the soreness be gone in a couple of days. Well, here, let me help you. Jerry, I have got to learn to do these things for myself. <laughs> hmm. Here. I hope that's a dime. Yeah, it's a dime. <laughs> hey, Chair. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Listen, I think it's a much better idea if I call myself. 
I know Laura's gonna be a lot more worried than Millie is. She pictures me in some strange hospital, all crippled and banged up. <laughs> I'm all right, I'm all right. Okay, right thank in there. you. Oh, let me get out of the way. Get a second. Ah, why? Sorry. Easy, boy. Mm. Easy does it. Come on. Yeah? I'm in. Okay. Mm hmm. Jer? Yeah, Rob. What? Will you put the dime in for me? Oh. <laughs> you want me to dial no, the operator? I can dial for myself, Jer. Okay, okay. Jer? Yeah, Rob? Will you run her around for me? <laughs> Laura, you don't have to sit right by the phone. It's going to ring. I know it. Rob? Uh, yes. She knows it was me. <laughs> how, how did you know it was me? Oh, just a hunch. How are you? Oh, uh, just uh, fine. How are you? Oh, fine. It's nice. How, uh... How's Rich? He's fine. How's Jerry? Fine. <laughs> Are you all right? Don't you mean, did I break a leg? <laughs> did you? No, I didn't. That's fine. Oh, you mean you're not disappointed? Your little prophecy didn't come true? Rob? Yes? When are you coming home? In a few hours. Why so late? We, uh... We had a little uh, trouble with the car. Well, shall I wait up for you? No, no, you go to bed. You don't wait up. I'll, uh, I'll try to sneak in quietly. Very well. Does Jerry have anything he wants to tell me? Uh, does Jerry have anything to say to Millie? Uh, Jerry. Yeah, Ron. Do you have anything you want to tell Millie? Oh, just tell her that I, uh, that I love her. Okay. Uh, Jerry says uh, that he loves her. Yeah, and tell her to, to, uh, that I love her and to wait up for me. I want to give her a big kiss when I come home. Mwah! He says uh, that he uh, uh, loves her and for her to wait up, and he, he uh, wants to give her a uh, kiss. When she comes home. Jerry says he loves you, and to wait up for him, he wants to give you a big kiss. Well, tell him I can't wait and to hurry home. You tell him anything you want. <laughs> she says she's waiting and, and to hurry home. She uh, says she's waiting and, and to hurry uh, home. Good. Good. Uh, Anything else? Goodbye, Rob. Goodbye, Laura. He hates me! <laughs> Boy, Rob, you know, you were pretty rough on her. Are you really that angry with Laura? No, I'm not, but I want her to think I am. Why? If she makes up with me immediately, she's going to want to hug me. Oh, I see. <laughs> I'm not for at least a couple of days, Jerry. Oh. Okay, well, come on. Let me help you out of here. Come on. No, don't. Try. I know, I know. You've got to learn to do things for yourself. That's right, Jerry. Right. And without a cane. <laughs> Jerry? Yeah, Rob? Get me the cane. <laughs> I just don't know how you're going to keep Laura from finding out about your sprained body. By getting her so mad, she's going to avoid me completely. It won't work. It will if you'll keep your big mouth shut. Well, what about this? Tell Millie you sprained it fixing the tire. Oh, that's a good idea. That way it'll keep my record as a skier clean for the year. Boy. <laughs> hey, Rob, let me help you off with your jacket. Jerry, I don't talk to Rob. Okay, okay, right, right. Good night, Rob. And good luck hiding the body. <laughs> I didn't, uh, I didn't want to wake you. Did you have a nice time? Oh, great. Just, uh, just, uh, uh great. Uh, you all right? I'm, I'm fine. Why do you ask? Well, you look cold. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it is a little cold in here. Yeah, boy, it certainly is. Uh, what, uh, what are you doing in that, uh, flimsy nightgown? <laughs> well, I, I, I thought that, uh, 
Don't you uh, remember this nightgown, darling? Uh, no, I don't, Nora, I don't. Uh, why don't you <clears throat> go put on your long woolly before you catch cold? <laughs> darling, this is the nightgown that you brought me back from Chicago that time. Don't you remember? Oh, yes, yeah, I'm in Chicago. It's, uh, it's very cold uh, there. <laughs> I remember that. Honey, why don't you go put on something uh, sensible? Well, darling, I haven't worn this in a long time. So, well, I, I don't blame you. It's much too tight for this type of weather. You, you, uh, you, uh, you go to bed. Well, are you coming? Well, no, I'm, there, I'm going to uh, watch some television. <laughs> Some milk and cookies, no, darling? Uh, uh, Laura, I wish you would just put some clothes on and go to bed. All right. Good, 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 good. She's not going to hug me tonight. She may never hug me again, either. Your pajamas. Your blanket. <laughs> off before I faint. Ski protection. All, all skiers wear these these things. It's, they're they're warm. It uh, cover, covers your pores. Those are bandages. You had an accident and you were afraid to tell me. Well, you you forecast it pretty accurately, honey. I didn't forecast it, Rob. I caused it. Well, are you all right? It looks well, just terrible. No, no, just uh, my, minor aches and pains, honey. It's uh, <laughs> not, nothing serious. What happened? I, uh, I tripped. You tripped? Yeah, over a, uh, another skier and a goat. It's a... <laughs> it's a long story, honey. I, I don't... Oh, Rob! Honey, if you love me, don't touch me! <laughs> honey, if, 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 if you must touch me, just kiss me right there on a corner of my mouth. It's the only place that doesn't hurt. Other side, other side, other side. <laughs> okay. Would you reach around behind me and get my cane? <laughs> for myself. <laughs> uh. 